Do this and then, can you orient it so it's facing the- Yeah, I think this should be facing it. Okay. And can I pick this up a little? Yes, yes okay. you can. Right. Okay. Uh, you can hear it clicking. I know. That's, that's very good. I was like, this is as close as I can get it. <laughs> okay. And then hopefully yeah, soon it will- Yeah, there's lots of clicking. Will register? Again, only 20 seconds, it's taking a while. Okay. Yay, so 675. Which is up there, apparently. <laughs> it still didn't light up the, uh... Oh, you know what it is? I probably have the threshold way, way too high. So I got I got one anomalous reading that was like 70,000. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock this down to 5,000. We're gonna try that. But yeah, that... The fact that it makes a sound... Yeah. That's good. That, that is okay. encouraging. <laughs> um, all right. And it definitely sounds like the sound that our Kyger counters makes. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. Actually getting it to click by using a microcontroller takes a, a non-insignificant amount of processing power. <laughs> and so like trying trying to get it to not miss counts because I was having to drive a speaker was like yeah. very frustrating. Okay, well it's still only one lighting up, which is strange, but it's measuring uh, around yeah. thousand something. All right, can we try the other one? other one is just a beta. It's just so. beta, yeah. Ooh, that sounds much spicier. I feel like this one had a higher number of counts on mine, but also yours having a thicker kind of window is going to make Potential, it Potentially, yeah. Because the, the thickness of the, the tube, it said like it, it will fin filter the lower energy ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's up there at uh, oh, 5,000, nice. which... <laughs> that should be lighting up more than one light, but that's a software bug I can fix later. <laughs> we got, yeah, and so that's the that's the Cobalt 60. This is the Strontium 90. Strontium 90, and the previous one was Cobalt 60. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop.